and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about what's a legal e-bike versus illegal e-bike and I'm gonna more focus in on the state of Oregon where I'm at now it seems that almost every state has a little bit different interpretation of e-bikes and e-bike laws for the most part it's class two or class three there may be a few that are only class one i'm not sure but i know the majority are either class two or three and personally i wish they were all the same class three but that's just me so let's go over first of all what class one class two and class three are so class one is an e-bike that is pedal assist only and does not ex uh, exceed 20 miles per hour that's a class one class two the same 20 miles per hour but it can be throttle and pedal or just throttle 20 miles per hour that's class two and then you got class three which is the same idea whether you pedal or throttle and it cannot exceed 28 miles per hour and that's where i wish um i wish we were all at that uh, number but as i say some states are different um, but I wish everybody was at the same 28 because I think that's a good number, a good speed to be at. Now when I talk about what's legal versus illegal, this is primarily going to be about what's uh, legal or Ill illegal on the road, um, commuting, as opposed to uh, bike paths, uh, where you can ride in uh, uh, bike trails and all that kind of stuff because those are different once again uh, according to states and um, even more fine than that they get pretty uh, fine with uh, where you can and cannot do things so we'll stick to mostly commuting because that's what I'm uh, I'm going to talk about in this video but so basically like for the state here of Oregon our legal speed or legal class will go with that is class 2 which is 20 miles per hour uh, it's kind of vague to me and when I read this on what it says so for the state of Oregon it says that the motor on the bike the electric motor on the electric bicycle cannot exceed 1000 watts Some states are less than that. Some are 75 or uh, 750. 75 would be very low. 750 um, or they may be different than that, but um, a lot of states are either 750 or 1,000. I don't know if that's everyone. I didn't look at every single state. Like I say, I'm focusing more in on my state of Oregon. But the funny thing is, So you get that uh, limit of a thousand watts, but it doesn't say anything else. It doesn't say the voltage, for example. Well, the voltage could change a lot of things, you know? And uh, I didn't see nothing on voltage. And I didn't see anything on battery uh, limiting as well. I didn't see whether, you know, what size battery, can you only have X amount or, I didn't see nothing on that. And uh, I didn't see anything also on the controller uh, as well. So, I mean, you could put a thousand watt motor and if it had a 
say it had a 72 volt. Uh, and a 50 amp controller or more um, as long as you don't exceed the 20 miles an hour I assume you can do that because it did not in what I read anyway it did not say anything about voltage or controller it just said that the speed cannot exceed 20 miles an hour now that is when you throttle it says that if you pedal so for throttle only you cannot exceed 20 miles per hour from what i read but if you pedal assist with it it's it didn't give a maximum it says you can go faster but it didn't say how much faster so i'm thinking so what if somebody was, for example, ghost pedaling. You're pedaling. Also, the 20 miles per hour is on flat ground. So if you're going down a hill, I assume you can go faster because it said that was for flat ground. The other thing that's a little uh, gray uh, would be uh, how big the rider is. So Let's say I'm on a class two bike, which if I hit the switch, which I will do right now, this is now a class two bike. And I weigh, my weight myself is about 185. And let's say, well, let's see what I can get up to here for speed. I'm gonna max it out here and go to the highest pedal assist. This bike's gonna go a little faster than 20 on, I got a speed there of 25 miles an hour. And that's on class two on the Lyric Graffiti. I should mention which bike I'm on. Um, so, but if, you, if I'm a rider that's 100 pounds, and my bike is class two and I'm maxing it out. Do I have to keep an eye on the speedometer? If it was sold to me as a class two bike and I didn't alter it in any way, is it up to me to make sure that this bike does not exceed 20 miles an hour or because it was bought as a class two, it's up to the bike company to make sure that the bike cannot exceed 20 because like I say, if I'm, if I only weigh 100 pounds, I'm definitely going to go faster than if I weigh 185 pounds. Or a guy that weighs 250 pounds. You know, I'm going to go faster at 185 than the guy 250 is on the same bike. So it's a little bit kind of vague to me. I don't know, it's uh, a 1,000 watt motor. Like here I am again going full throttle, class two, highest uh, pedal assist level nine. It can get up to about 25 miles an hour. I think I've had it a little faster than that even in the past, but that's quite a bit so anyway if you've got any comments on this topic on e-bikes and legal limits go ahead and leave the comment in the description or in the uh, comment section I'd be interested in hearing from you. The other thing I wanted to mention is I don't know of anybody yet that has been pulled over for li or riding an illegal electric bike. 
and I've also should mention too that there is one rule or law that is a definite no-no and that's riding your electric bike on the sidewalk at least here in the state of Oregon you cannot ride your bike on the sidewalk and I must confess that I have before and the reason why I have before is because sometimes I'll come up to a traffic light and the light doesn't recognize me and it, it doesn't uh, trigger when I'm at the light so I've had to go up onto the sidewalk and hit the uh, pedestrian crosswalk uh, button there to get across the street so I have had that coming but yeah let me know what you think in the uh, comments section on this topic I'd like to write to the uh, state of Oregon and, and see if they give me a better clarification than what their website uh, has on the on the topic And the other thing about this, uh, what's legal and illegal, if you do have a bike that, it's all to do with speed, right? So if you do have a bike that goes faster, that doesn't mean you're going to ride it faster. Um, as long as you obey the laws, I mean, can you not ride a bike that's, uh, class three if you have it like I have now this bike in class two you know and what happens if you have an illegal bike that they deem as illegal do they just confiscate it or what happens because I don't know of anybody that's had that happen so maybe somebody can chime in and leave a comment in the comments section to me I think that commuting on the road where I'm at right now I think you should be able to go as long as the speed limit on that road is that that amount of speed I think you should be able to go um, close to 30 miles an hour like the 28 I think class 3 is pretty good and I wish that like I say I wish we all had that because I think that would be a decent speed I'd like it to even be just slightly more than that but I'd be okay with 28 I think a little bit over 30 would be so we can go on 30 mile per hour streets and be able to hang with the cars, especially when there's no uh, bike path or bike lane. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, just hit that subscribe button. And thank you very much for doing that. And also, if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. So once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time. Take care.